It's the Friday Night Frenzy on News 18. Sports from where you live. Welcome back. We hope you are ready for the first Friday yeah. night frenzy of the season tonight. Four of our area schools yep. prepped for week one by getting the reps in via a scrimmage. Yeah, that's right. So each team was given 15 plays per possession and regardless of turnovers or touchdowns, after 15 plays, the other team gets the ball in. And also, we saw a ton of good football out of the games we covered tonight. Let's jump yeah. Right into the act. Yeah, we sure did. Out at McCutcheon, the Mavericks welcomed the Carmel Greyhounds, who are coming off of an unusual 5-5 five and five season. The Greyhounds had the first 15 possessions, and it didn't take long for them to get going as the QB throws it long and connects with the wideout Nathan Williams. Shortly after, they attack with the run game and go straight up the middle for the touchdown. With possessions left to spare, the Mavericks defense stepped up and covered the next Greyhound run attempt making their presence known. After Carmel's first 15 plays, it was all about the Mavericks offense, and we got to see Matt Chandler Jr. catch the pass in great hound territory before he's brought down. The Mavericks had their units firing on all cylinders tonight. Heading over to Harrison High School, it's the Raiders hosting the Central Catholic Knights. Now Harrison started with the ball, and they were having some success with the short throws. That one caught by Quinn Cleary on the sideline. But this was a defensive battle. The Knights were letting Harrison feel it early on. The Raiders were finding any way to get the ball up the field and check out a little lateral off to the side for Sullivan Garrett, and he picks up that extra yardage. But on Harrison's 15th play on the goal line, he's picked off by Brady Williams, and that one is taken back to the house. Turnover on plays, Knights ball. Harrison is now looking for revenge on the other end, and Evan Walker does just that, blocking that pass. Next play, Bobby Matzko lobs it up, and it is picked off by Payne Meyer, who returns that one back. And I told you, it's a defensive battle. Both teams showed a, that they can move the ball up the field, but the defense, Hadassah, is what I found most impressive. Oh yeah, and just about 12 minutes away from the McCutcheon and Carmel action, the Lafayette Jeff Broncos hosted the Pike Red Devils. Things were already flowing when I arrived and the QB kept the wheels turning with a 28-yard touchdown pass to Andre Fancher, who puts the burners on and runs out of frame and into the end zone, showing off some of that speed that we have to look forward to all season. Defensively, the Broncos were more than stout, having multiple stops with little to no yardage in a row. With full coverage and even causing the Red Devils to fumbles late in the game, Coach Stanley's team put the work from the summer on display tonight with some great reps this preseason game. Yeah, Hadassah, it was great being back out on the football oh, yeah. field. I love when frenzy <laughs> rolls around. You get to have the football in here. We were trying to run some plays. Oh, you yeah. weren't doing that with no, me, Hadassah. No. We could have done it, though. But what stuck <laughs> out to you tonight from the plays, yeah. not in here, but what we saw on the football field Yeah, tonight. well, Vinny, my play of the night came from Schumann Stadium yep. with the pass from Tristan Barrett. But before I get to the play, let me show you what happened just before. And there it is, the pick six for Pike, but my play of the night comes almost right after that with Barrett shaking it off and finding Bobby Jamison, and he goes untouched oh. to the end zone. I think we can call that a little bit of redemption. Ooh, <laughs> that was nice. My top play came from the defense. Last play of the drive on the goal line, and the Knights take their stance. A pick six right on the goal line. It doesn't get more deflated than that, oh, yeah. but great defense out of both of those teams tonight. That was a lot of fun. Sure, you got it. Now, voting is open for our Friday Night Frenzy. Game of the week, week one is next week. So here's the slate on your screen. Harrison West Lafayette, Avon at Lafayette Jeff, and Clinton Central versus Frankfurt. You can find where to vote if you head to WLFI.com. All right, thanks, Vinny. That does it yeah. for this week's Friday Night Frenzy. Thanks so much for joining us. Remember to go online, and yes. we will see you guys cast your votes. We'll see you guys back here for week one. Week one, we're excited. Have a great night. We'll see you guys next week.